sleep. Martha, sweetie, I'm coming home. I'm back in the fucking building again! <laughs> little, little Bowser vs. Eggman is finally out after what felt like an eternity. Like, good lord, this was- this felt like the longest waiting period of my life. But it's out now! And I can finally go to bed without seeing the dragon turtle or the breakfast doctor in my dreams. It feels so good. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I just want to talk about this episode because it was just that freaking good. So let's just get into it. Starting off with their analyses. Dude, Bowser's analysis is just perfect. I talked about this in my Mario vs. Sonic 2 review, but I really like the way these analyses are structured, despite the fact that Mario doesn't really have an established canon. But the way they cover Bowser's story is really engaging, especially when they talk about how the Koopa Troop became more of a family unit as opposed to a typical army. They even bring up King Boo and the GOATS! The, 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 the editing. It's, 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 man, the editing is just so good. I never thought I'd say this, but Omnidoc's editing has already been topped, and it's only the third episode of Independent Death Battle. DJ absolutely cooked in terms of both writing and editing. Eggman's analysis was just as good. It kind of feels like a spy movie with the use of the music and I really like it. Plus that edit of Eggman walking while Gerald gets further and further away in a silhouette is probably my favorite edit of the entire series. It helps emphasize the spy theme present in the analysis and I love it. It feels like something you'd see out of a James Bond movie opening. <sighs> Sorry Super Flare edit. You have been topped. Once again, writing and editing are phenomenal, and dude, when they brought up Sage, talking about how she began to build on him, I was genuinely shocked at how emotional the analysis was getting. It's so good. There was even a Sonic Adventure 2 fan dub reference, and that's how you know that this episode is peak. But let's be real, the fight was what we were all excited to see, and I'll be honest, it exceeded my expectations and then some. Like, dude. Dude, this animation is just so good. Not only am I just generally a fan of Moro's art style because it just looks very nice, but everything that is done is just amazing. The fighting, the choreography, the cinematography is just mwah. I love it. The animation starts off with Bowser getting catfished by Eggman which is just hilarious. I feel like that was supposed to be a reference to the Sonic uh, Sonic Movie 2, where, well, that movie had a whole wedding scene where someone got catfished. That's just great. I love it. I like Bowser ripping off his suit. It's a, it's a neat little callback to when Mario did the inverse of that gag where he ripped off his skin. Uh, don't know if that was intentional. I hope it was, because it's hilarious. Um, it, and it, you know what, it's also really nice to see the emphasis put on the armies of both characters. Here, they actually pay a f play a factor into the actual fight as opposed to what Ultron vs. Sigma did, where both armies are just kind of a footnote in the animation. It's actually nice to see an actual army fight since, well, since Eggman's last episode. <laughs> especially, like, I'm serious, especially since one army had the freaking elite trio. I am so happy. <laughs> Dude, like, I legitimately popped off when the elite trio showed up, and then I popped off again when freaking Bowser just tossed Broggy and Metal Sonic. <laughs> Dude, I, I, am, I, I loved the amount of Bowser's inside story love this, ep this animation got. Like, seriously, the elite trio and Broggy in one episode, this is like Christmas for me, and Christmas is like another, like a month away, so. Yeah, you could say I'm a little happy. Nintendo, please. Please, just put them in more games. I, I need them. I need them. They are some of my favorite characters in the Mario series. But yeah, no, it was, it was really nice to see like certain characters and had seat, and it was nice to see them have standout moments in the fight, like King Boo, Infinite. Bowser Jr., Kamek, Sage, and oh my god, especially Metal. Like, bro really carried and had some of the most amazing scenes. I like the thumbs up. It's cute. It reminds me, it's a reference to that, that one scene from the IDW comics. I love it. It was awesome. 
But you know what? Friggin... That chance time scene, genuinely one of my favorite things in this episode. Metal's reaction to getting cucked just by just I love how he spins his entire head around when he's looking for the Phantom Ruby. It's a it's adorable. I am so I actually this episode made me want a Metal Sonic run back. I don't care who he fights, like he could fight Cell for all I care, and I would still be happy for it. Uh, speaking of getting cucked. Oh my god, Infinite, I am so sorry. But at the same time, Infinite dying to a Thwomp was one of the funniest things I have seen in a hot minute. Like, it was so out of left field that it legitimately made me laugh. And it actually makes sense given the context of what he was doing since he was increasing gravity for Bowser's troops. So a Thwomp with increased gravity placed up on top of him would 100% kill him. Even though it technically didn't, if Moro is to be believed, but... I don't know, just Infinite dying to a rock with spikes is hilarious. The community is already, like, making memes about it, and I love it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, it's also a reference to Scout the Dog's uh, Bowser vs. Eggman video. You should totally watch that, by the way. It's actually really good. So, it, 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 it's, it's, it's cool. It was, it was awesome to see. Uh, Fury Bowser! Oh my god, I'm very happy that they went with Fury Bowser over Dreamy Bowser, because I love Fury Bowser. His appearance, it was so freaking cool. By far, one of my favorite, like, my favorite transformation in any death battle. I, I, I really, like, and the, and, the, and the delivery of the show timeline was, mwah. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I ha actually, okay, I'm just going to be honest with you right now. I have a script. I am 100% not following it. I am just gushing about this episode because I'm, I'm, I'm like a child on Christmas. It, this episode... It's just making me, it, it makes me feel like a child. I love it. Anyway, Fury Bowser's subsequent fight with the Death Egg Robot and Neo Metal Sonic was really cool. I like Metal pushing Eggman out of the way and using his Black Shield to take the hit. The Pacific Rim fight is awesome. Metal just catching Fury Bowser when he's falling and then just referencing Super Mario Bros. Z. I don't care if it was a dialogue from Mar Sonic Heroes. You can't tell me that a Robot Sonic saying, I'll crush you, is not a reference to Super Mario Bros. Z. You cannot! And then him just blitzing the hell out of Bowser is super cool. Kamek using the warp pipes to defend against Sage, eating a bunch of leftover troops, only to get socked in the face by Metal is amazing. Bowser Jr. as Shadow Mario defending his dad, but getting his shit wrecked by Metal, leading to my favorite line delivery from Zack Watkins as Bowser. It's not only it's not really really good characterization, but just badass overall. And then Bowser and Metal have a beam struggle in a Mario vs. Sonic episode, and it's like the coolest shit ever. Like look at this. Look at this. It is so well animated. And all of this is very nicely complemented by the spectacular track and amazing voice acting. Seriously. Game Over genuinely might be one of Brandon's best tracks and the voice acting. Mwah! Arthur Romero, Eggman, as, as Eggman, such an inspired choice. Probably my favorite voice for the character. Bowser, uh, Zach Watkins as Bowser, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it is my cup of tea. <laughs> His voice for Bowser was so cool. He sounds like what I think Bowser would sound like if he did talk, excluding Sunshine. Overall, both voice actors did amazing. Um, Brandon killed it with the track. He even got the he even got Victor Borba, who did "Bury the Light" for Devil May Cry 5. Which I don't know. Just hearing his voice in a Mario vs. Sonic track is just hilarious. <laughs> but it, yeah, no, it's it's genuinely a badass track and one I will 100% listen to all the time. And then the ending of the fight is just a visual treat. Eggman tells Sage to fire the Death Egg laser at full blast, which she does, but Bowser jumps in front of it to protect his army from the giant laser, but dies in the process. Side note, I like how Eggman uh, told Sage to fire the laser despite Orbot and Cubot still being there. He really doesn't give two shits about them, huh? <laughs> um, and it actually does show like the difference in how they operate. Like Eggman, I mean, I, I, know, I know I joked about Orbot and Cubot being there, but there are a lot of other troops on Eggman's side who are still there. 
And he, he deliberately he was just like, Sage, kill them. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bowser was just like, nah, man, I'm gonna save them. Anyway, um, so there's a big crater. Eggman begins to walk back to his Eggmobile. Then Junior turns it into stone and the Death Egg robot, the Death Egg into a question block. And then Dry Bowser inhales Eggman towards him. Eggman tries his best to escape, even referencing his run from Sonic 1, which I genuinely loved. It was so cute. It was, it was a cute real reference. But Bowser punches him into the question block, gets a metric butt ton of money, like he even needs more. And he even references the So Long Gay Bowser line. Kinda. It, it says So Long Doctor, but still, deliberately, d just, mwah, perfectly delivered. I loved it. And then the ending of, a fi of the fight actually had a freaking, a freaking aftermath, which again, showed the Elite Trio, my boys! But it also showed Orbot and Cubot just, just freaking applying for the Koopa Troop. I love that. <laughs> It's just like, you know what, we didn't get respect with Eggman, how about we try with the giant turtle monster? I- oh my god, dude, this animation was killer. I- I honestly- I'm genuinely speechless. Now, I do know that some people have issues with the fact that Time Eater wasn't included in the fight, and I can see where they're coming from, but here's the thing, I just don't care. <laughs> Sorry, Sonic fans, but the Time Eater is such a basic bitch, boring-ass boss who literally does nothing for the entirety of Sonic Generations outside of the beginning of the game and the end of the game. I legitimately do not like this thing. Um, same goes for Fe uh, Dreamy Bowser, honestly. Like, he looks cool, sure, but he's really not that interesting. I'm very glad they went with Fury Bowser over Dreamy Bowser. Um... And this actually brings up something I want to talk about quickly. This matchup was very complicated to decipher because both characters have like so much crap at their disposal, like over 30 years worth of items, tools, and gadgets. You can't expect them to use everything in the an 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 animation. Like, I get wanting to see the Time Eater because that's like Eggman's big trump card. And you know what? It is kind of a downer that we didn't see Eggman's big trump card. Uh, you can make... Like, honestly, I would say, like, oh, yeah, Dreamy Bowser is Bowser's big trump card, but honestly, I, I, I personally think that Fury Bowser is stronger than Dreamy Bowser. Dreamy Bowser is just a lot more hacksier, in my opinion. Um, well, not in my opinion, because that's just a genuine fact, but in terms of raw power, Dreamy Bowser is, like, significantly stronger, in my opinion. Again. But... It's not like they were excluded from the conclusion entirely. So... It's really not that big of a deal, in my opinion. Hell, they even had alternate scenarios, which... I do like. It, it was cute. Apparently, Moro did this just because he wanted to animate for this episode more, which... Can you see why he's probably my favorite animator that Death Battle has ever hired? Like, bro... bro cooks. When you... when you... when, when you... when you let him cook, he cooks. I love it. I love... I love Mora, all of Moro's animations. They're awesome. Anyway, speaking of the post-analysis, it is also really good. It goes really in-depth with each character's powers and advantages, and it's just, overall, it's just really good. They even mentioned that Mario and Sonic have arguments for incalculable speeds, and uh, so anyone who doubted me when I said that Mario has some measurable speed arguments in my Power Scaling Party episode, eat your words right now. <laughs> that was a joke. You, you, uh, versus is, is Power Scaling is subjective. And you know what, as I said before, and as I said before, the alternate scenarios is really cool. Again, Moro, one of, if not my favorite animator Death Battle has ever hired, because he just, he's, he, he gives 110% every time. Uh, but yeah, that was Bowser vs. Eggman. So, how would I rate it? Well, every category is going to get a 25 out of 25, leading this episode with, with a score of 100 out of 100. This is by far my new favorite episode in the entire series. I never thought Kirby vs. Boo would be dethroned. But here we are. Now we just wait for Henry vs. the Second Coming, which I hope comes very soon, please. They are they they are they are using Among Us. Is Among Us vs. Fall Guys is next. So they 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 are aware. They are aware of Henry Stickman. So please. 
please give me give me Henry versus the Second Coming, cause like that would legitimately make me cry tears of joy. Uh, anyway, what did you all think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're at it, hit that like button as well as the subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to see any more of my videos. Follow me on my socials in the description and check out Lucar Boy's rea uh, our reaction to the video on the Car Boy's channel. Link will also be in the description. Uh, he's going to do his own video at the end of the year with all four Death Battle episodes, probably. So just wait until that. Uh, anyway, with that in mind, I will see you later, Cap Nation. Uh, I am actually very sorry that this this wasn't really an actual review. It was just me gushing about the episode for, like, however long this video is going to be. But, man, can you blame me? This episode was so good. I, I, I tried my best to be as impartial as possible, but I just can't. This, this episode, it's just beautiful. I love it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. It is hot under this blanket. So, goodbye.